Greetings guys, girls, and all my nerdy pals, and welcome back to another Christmas countdown video where I will be uploading every single day up until Christmas. I have not been keeping track of how many of these I've done, so I actually have no idea how far away Christmas is. Is it tomorrow? Is it in a week? I don't know. Let me know. In today's video, I wanted to give us a nice special Christmas treat, <laughs> which is taking a look at one of our favorite TikTok is because he's back. He's back, everyone. I have made a couple videos about this man before. He is a cishet man who makes too many TikToks, like 10 a day. And they are all, they all make me want to crawl into my skin and just like, bleh, bleh. they make me very, very uncomfortable. I hate them so much. And as usual, when I make videos about this man, I'm giving you a content warning. I'm giving you five seconds to turn this off and run away. I will give you another five seconds to run away as I thank today's patron of the day, Talusk. Uh, thank you so much for being a patron and for all of your support for this long. I appreciate it greatly. I hope that you enjoy the video in all of its cringe and pain. And if you would like to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description. It starts at one pound a month and any support means the world. So thank you. And let's get into the absolute fun. So I actually wanted to make a video about this guy again uh, recently. And I found out that, yeah, his TikTok had been deleted, but I found out that he had an Instagram account so most of these are from his Instagram reels and he doesn't post on TikTok a ton anymore. Well, that's not true. He posts on TikTok uh, regularly, but he's toned back his TikTok content a lot and just captions it with follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram, because there he can post his more explicit stuff on reels, you know? And he has 430,000 followers on Instagram, which is so baffling to me, but you know, there we go. Let's start with a couple of these, a couple of these reels, shall we? I don't want to click play. I hate these. These, they, these are like actually the worst, but I'll power through if you power through with me. Nobody, nobody, nobody knows. This one's just greatly amusing to me. <laughs> There is nothing less attractive to me than firstly smoking, not a fan, but like not only that, but just like breathing out of your nose like a dragon while staring into the camera. That's hilarious. That's so funny. This is the thing he does. He is a really big fan of dressing up like ugly and nerdy and whatever. And then like transitioning into being like hot and his fashion choices and the way he presents himself as this like ugly person is the same every time. It's the same shirt, it's glasses, it's tying his hair up and it's making himself have a double chin. That's the same thing he does every single time. And I just find it hilarious when people do that because I'm like, None of those things make you ugly. My other final piece of criticism here is why in the lift? What do you do? Other people use that. And this is a common theme for his account now is that so much of this stuff happens in the lift, which is public. The absolute confidence and ego and arrogance you must have to be able to do that is like astounding to me because this is the best of them like he does like this like dude i'm just trying to get to my floor <laughs> i have bags of groceries that i need to put away please get out of the lift I just need to go home, please. And I don't know how they can be just like so confident about it. That's baffling to me. Like, good for you. I'm glad you're confident, but not in public. There's nothing wrong with like wearing what you want, doing what you want, etc. But like when you're making content with like sexual intent and you're doing it in public, that's a no from me. Let people live their lives without forcing this upon them, please. 
please. My God. And he does so many of these. There are so many of them. I don't know why they've decided to just live in this lift now, but this is where they live because yourself what's going on <laughs> you have to know how strange that is it's so are you not embarrassed do you have no shame what are you doing bro no i just want to know how these ideas get into your head and then how you decide to actually follow it through and do it like how do you think of this and then how do you go out and film it and not just like film one but film like multiple of them in one go and then like film multiple of them every single day and continuously upload them to the internet just being like yes i'm hot shit i do not understand <laughs> and the end of that second one you can see she's like put her shoe on him right that's another common theme he's got now he seems to have developed a thing for feet he has so many tiktoks of women just like putting their shoe on him and he has to like tie their shoe. There's so many. <laughs> like what's going on? <laughs> Why are there so many feet? Why are we kissing feet on main? Like, be into feet. You do you. Have your thing. But why are you kissing feet on main? Why are we, like, slowly dressing and undressing women and then having- and then kissing their feet? Strange behavior. So bizarre. I just, like, it's this thing, right? Of, like, do what you want in your own time. I don't care. And, like, I am all for, like, explicit content, adult content, sex work, etc. Like that's all fine. It's just a matter of time and place, you know? And I just think it's really odd posting all this stuff to like just the algorithm, <laughs> you know? The algorithm just gets all of this. And considering like he's encouraging people to come from TikTok and a large amount of the people who watch him on TikTok are like 14, 15, it's just like being aware of who your primary audience is and then continuing to make like soft porn is very strange. Yeah, if you want to make this content, like fine, but like doing it on a public platform is is like, especially when it comes to videos like this one. It was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> why are you posting this? What do you do? Like, blah, 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 blah. it's this strange, strange thing of like, he's trying to garner up like, I'm assuming like a female audience, right? He wants to be like hot and like sexy and whatever. But it's this interesting thing of like the male gaze, right? Like who is he actually making this content for? Is he making it so that women will think he's hot and women will like him? Or is he doing it to show off to other men that he can get a lot of girls? Is he doing it to show off to men that he is hot and look how many like women he has and what he can get them to do for him? Because it feels a lot more like the latter. Using women as objects uh, and trying to like prove dominance and that you are better than other people because you can make women do all of this stuff and you were able to do this. That's sort of where the issue lies. Like a lot of these women he does videos with also have their own channels and their own content. And in that they're like sexualizing themselves. They kind of do like OnlyFans stuff. And like, I was thinking about it yesterday. I'm like, why am I totally cool with that? And I encourage that. And I'm like, really cool, go, you do you. Show your butt on main. 
go for it. And then this stuff makes me like want to recoil into myself. And I realized that, yeah, in their own content, they're like, sexualizing themselves. They are playing into the male gaze because it benefits them. You know, they're like taking advantage of the oppression that we're put under. They're taking advantage of the patriarchy using it to their advantage, right? Whereas he's abusing that, you know? He's like objectifying them for his own gain and his own ego boost rather than like anything else, you know? That's the problem. If he was like, yeah, that's really the main problem. Like, sometimes he's sexualizing himself, and I find it icky, <laughs> and I don't like watching it, but, like, it's much better than when he's, like, doing shit like... <laughs> purpose. The really only thing this is for is for some fucking massive ego boost and to make men envy you. It's an interesting thing of like, I wonder how aware these men are that they're doing it for other men and not for women, you know? Like making other men jealous rather than making other women interested. It's interesting. And also the way they were spitting out the toothpaste, like they they took it one they took it one step too far. It was already a gross TikTok. And then they just like they took it one step too far. They're just making soft porn on main and it's I'm not about it. It makes me very uncomfortable. And he just has bad intentions, you know? He thinks he's way too hot for his own good. I don't know how they all agree to this. I don't really know how these conversations happen. But it's just this interesting thing that his entire thing and his entire brand and content just revolves around being able to like hook up with a ton of women. On the like lighter side of things, it's really funny. <laughs> I was looking at some of his like his TikTok stuff and it's so funny. My favorite thing he's done. He was being accused of being 30 because he had the number 30 in his bio on his old TikTok. And so people would say he was 30, but his 30 meant the size of his hand, apparently. But people would always call him 30. And so what he's done is he went and got 1997 tattooed on his throat. The year he was born, 1997, to be like, I'm not fucking, th I'm 25. I'm not 30. Look, it says 1997 on my throat. That is the funniest thing. It's right above his daddy tattoo. He makes some questionable decisions. I just... Yeah, speaking of really fun tattoos he has, he recently got this tattoo of Bugs Bunny spanking Lola. And that is, um... No? May I think no. Sexualizing a thing made for children is something that I will always find really, really gross. And getting it tattooed on your body is even grosser. Like this is a cartoon for children. This is a, ch why are you sexualizing like a thing for kids? But also the fact that Bonnie's has given me flashbacks to the last time we made one of these videos. And I'm concerned about how he views rabbits. I'm concerned. <laughs> Sir, step away from the bunnies. Don't ever go near rabbits ever again. Stop it, leave them alone. He on his other arm has like a giant woman. I think it might be Mary, honestly, that he's like low-key sexualizing. And then he has another woman on his forearm. His entire personality kind of just revolves around thinking he's the center of the world and women will all flock to him and love him. And again, I wonder if he knows that he's doing it with the intention of other men seeing him. Because he seems awfully obsessed with other men seeing him and proving that he's like 
but also proving he's not gay because he does regularly like am I gay TikTok filters. Like he does them regularly. He's done five of them um, on his TikTok account that he's only had back for not very long. What is the purpose of any of this? I don't understand what you're trying to prove and who you're trying to prove it to. But yeah, as you can see, his TikTok content is really, really diverse, um, as you can see here. So yeah, he makes really, really diverse content. There's lots of different stuff. He posts like one of those every single day and it's just a slow pan like up his body to his face. That's the whole TikTok. And it's usually with like one of those two tracks. Like, what are you doing? Stop, stop it. Like there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance and you've like well overstepped that line. You've like well overstepped it. Going back to his Instagram, not only is he posting all these like overly sexual uh, videos of him being half naked in lifts and handcuffing himself and being stepped on, etc., but he also just likes to depict relationships and are really like, toxic way as though it's really hot and sexy. So he does a lot of videos where he's like fighting with these women and they're like hitting each other, um, like almost forcing themselves on each other. It's really problematic, especially again, since his audience is young, which is terrifying. Like this sort of stuff. Baby, how you hate me, hate me, hate me. Tell me how you hate me. Tell me how I'm trash and you could easily replace me. Like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but this isn't what you should be showing as like a way to show off being desirable. And this isn't what we should be promoting as being like hot and sexy and desirable. Cause it's not, we shouldn't be singing these songs as though they're a positive thing. It's not a good thing to hate your partner and to fight all the time. I know that it's like really romanticized in the media, but like we really need to stop that. It's not cool to like force your partner to do stuff or like not leave them alone when they ask you to or just yell at them for no fucking reason. Like that's not cool. You shouldn't be in this position of like passion is wanting to rip each other's heads off because that's not true and that's not healthy and we shouldn't be encouraging that and it's not hot, it's not sexy. Stop it. So basically this guy's TikTok, Instagram, etc., is still an absolute shit show. It's still a mess, it still makes me extremely uncomfortable. Uh, still very overly sexual for just the public eye, for public social media um, where you know, a lot of young people have taken interest in him, um, especially when he posts, you know, my, I will finish this off with possibly my least favorite TikTok. So here's your content warning again. Close your eyes. I'm getting ripped tonight. All I hear that pussy, hey, I'm going in tonight. Okay, it wasn't this one. <laughs> this isn't the one I was looking for, but yeah, I'll talk about this one too. Eh, I don't like it. It makes me very uncomfortable. Uh, maybe I'm not his target audience, but also maybe I am because I am about his age and a woman who is attracted to men. So technically, yeah, I am his target audience and I find it repulsive. So it's gross. I dislike it hugely. He feels like someone who would be terrible in bed. <laughs> He has to overcompensate for everything. I just like, he just feels like a selfish person. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. There are actually a couple more that I've just remembered that I wanna show you because they really hammer it home what this whole thing is about. Uh, Why? <laughs> what are we doing here? Why are we lighting a cigarette under someone's skirt? What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to do? What is going on? What what validation are you looking for? What are you trying to gain out of this? I don't, I hate it. I hate these TikToks. I hate them so much. They make me so upset and so uncomfortable. Uh, 
After speaking about sexualizing children's cartoons, can we please talk about how it's really fucking weird to do a transition from like you as a child into you being like doing something like sexy or sexual or whatever. Like I find it really strange and uncomfortable. And this isn't a thing exclusive to him. This is a thing I see a lot. Um, it happens a lot on like K-pop TikTok. There's so many edits like this where it's like, look, a cute little baby, bam, hip thrust. Why? What are you doing? Don't put those two things together, please. Don't show me a photo of a baby and then be like, wow, look, he grew up so well to someone like thrusting. That's really fucking weird. It's really weird. And that applies to this man here in this situation too. It's strange. I do not like it and I don't think we should be doing it, all right? If you're looking at a baby picture, you shouldn't then immediately be like, wow, they grew up to be so sexy. Odd, odd behavior. You can do like, you grew up into being really like, pretty, look, you were pretty then, you're pretty now, whatever. Like you were so cute, now you're so pretty. Whatever, that's like fine. If you're doing like an innocent sort of picture now and an innocent sort of picture then, doing a side by side of like recreating a childhood photo or like this picture when they were playing like football when they were young versus one where they're playing football now. That's totally chill, but going from baby to sex is weird. Don't do it, please. Thank you. I don't know why that has to be said. That should just be like already known and implied, but like, don't do it. All right, I will finish with one last one that I absolutely despise. This is possibly my least favorite. This is possibly the worst one. So that's your warning right now. Uh, cringe warning, uh, wanting to like curl up inside of your body warning now. Why? Bleh, stop. Don't. No. 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 I hate this man's TikTok and his Instagram and I don't know why I put myself through this again. I don't know why I put you through this again, but I hope you enjoyed this slow descent into absolute madness. Um, it's good to know that he will never change. Anyway, thank you for suffering with me. I'm sorry for ruining your Christmas. A massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons whose names are up on the screen right now. Uh, and a huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Wolf, Toulouse, Bobby, Josh, Mandy, Robbie, Ikazel, Jessica, Ishitar, Hope, Eldo, Ida, Queer Cory, and Cory Golightly. I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash savvy cat. I'll click the top link in the description. For as little as one pound a month, you get my videos a day early, as well as podcasts a week early. And then from three pounds and up, you get a bunch of other stuff like outtakes, live streams, bonus videos and vlogs, a mini podcast, etc. cetera. Uh, your support means the world. So thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. <laughs>